you create a lot of images when you're in a memory competition. Your images might come from your different memory systems. They may come from words, names, abstract images. And so you have all these images that you're trying to memorize, but you need to make sure you can keep them straight and not confuse them with other images. Because if you're not able to find the specific image and translate it back to the information, no, you're in bad shape, right? And so a great exercise is having images that are similar to some of the images you have and seeing if you can tell the difference. And you don't even have to have a memory system to even do this exercise. You just have a random word, find similar words like it, and then see if you can keep it straight. So for example, uh, you know, it'd be a little bit easier if we just do this. Okay, so let's say you have, I don't know, running. Let me just zoom in on this bad boy. Boom. Okay, you have running as an action or some sort of image, okay? So you want to find similar images, words that are like running. So we have walking. Oops. We have walking. Uh, jogging. Even like skating, right? Kind of looks similar. Yes, you have skates, but like the motion itself is kind of similar to kind of like running. And so that's good enough for, for this example. So the idea here is you would memorize all of these different images and you're not going to recall it right like right away. So you finish memorizing them like, okay, let me recall it. No, maybe you wait an hour. Maybe you wait the next day. And so what you're trying to do is maybe this is, let's do it this way. Okay, so in the first location, second location, third location, fourth location. All right, so what you do is the next day you try to recall these words, but you want to make sure you call them exactly as they are. So the idea here is all these are kind of similar. Yes, when you really focus, you can see someone running and that's really different from walking. But if you're going quickly, right? which in a, memory, mem in a memory competition, that's your main goal. Go as quickly as possible, you know, memorize as much as possible. So in your mind, you might get running, but it might be confused with walking or jogging or skating. And so this exercise is helping you hone your skill of being able to clearly picture whatever image you're trying to picture without confusing it with another. So the next day you're like, okay, let me go. In the first location, I saw someone running oh wait or was it jogging because you know running jogging I, i'm not sure what the difference is but one's a little bit faster than the other in your mind how are you keeping that straight right so you're like oh crap i think one maybe was jogging oh but wait there was skating too hmm and so that's where the issue arises so that's why over time you practice this exercise so you're really good at making sure you can't mix any images up so besides you know like action for me, it always gets to me. You have um, you have suitcase, you have a uh, briefcase, you have what's what's the other word? Um, briefcase, luggage, luggage, right? And so when I memorize random words, and of course to me these are kind of similar. Briefcase, you know, like a little bit smaller, but um, suitcase, luggage, stuff like this, I picture kind of the same thing, you know, like a briefcase looking luggage thing and so I'm like oh no which one is it is it a suitcase is it a briefcase because in my mind I use the same image that kind of represents all three of these and so that's where you know where you practice it and make sure okay it's a suitcase so I have this one specific image for a suitcase so it can't be confused with the luggage because that's gonna look a little bit different and so once you start nailing these things down it makes a huge difference difference and especially when it comes to your um get back to uh, come on when it comes to your memory systems man you don't want to mix anything up especially if you're trying to memorize the cards because you have 52 cards right but if you mix two up that's where it ends on your recall and your score so if you mix up the very first two cards guess what you could get that deck in like 10 seconds but since you missed the first two cards zero so that's why it's so important to really figure this out see if you're able to distinguish between similar looking images and practice it because you can practice the skill of seeing the distinction between running and walking because to me for, for me that's why um in my different actions right here i i intentionally avoided similar looking actions because that really messed me up and so 
That's why I avoided having like running and walking or anything that's similar, you know, skating or jumping and dunking because they're so similar in my mind. In your mind, it may be a little bit different, but that's why you want to do this exercise so you're really good at distinguishing all types of images. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time.